take you back a month. A month ago, you were injured. Now here you are with a title, a magnificent trophy. Quite a comeback. Yeah, I mean, I, I worked, uh, worked very hard in the, the time that I had off to try and get myself back in the uh, best shape possible, and I couldn't have done it. Uh, obviously, with that, my team, they've helped me a lot. They've been very patient with me, and uh, yeah, I stand for them why I was able to come out and, and play, uh, play so tough in um, the last two matches. I've got a feeling your physio could have been a bit worried about what happened in that first set. Talk us through it. Yeah, I mean, the, the courts have been, uh, you know, they've taken a bit of a pounding this week. It's been extremely... Uh, Extremely wet, uh, and I think I just I just caught my. There we go. We'll see it. Yeah, um, yeah just a bit <laughs> sore on the the groin area. <laughs> um, yeah, thankfully it, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> You're up against a really tough guy today, though. I mean, he he uh, he had you worried. Yeah, I mean he's he's one of the best grass court players in the world. Me and Marin have had. I mean, we've played against each other since juniors, and we've had a lot of uh, very close matches and, and, and tight matches. And you know, I was lucky to come through in the end because he was he was playing some very good tennis, especially towards the end of the second set. And uh, I got a little bit lucky at the end of that set. Now, the reason I threw in that question didn't go to my next one was because I was going to say that Kim is uh, sitting over there, standing over there at the moment, your girlfriend, and yet you blew a kiss to someone up on on, on the uh, stand up there. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know how many of you know the, the story, uh, but we're, I hope everyone can stick around. We're playing an exhibition match uh, right after we're, we're done with this nonsense. <laughs> uh, but uh, my best, uh, best friend over there, Ross Hutchins, uh, he was diagnosed with cancer. <laughs> About... <laughs> About, uh, About six months ago, and he's... I mean, he's dealt with it incredibly well. He's been so brave, and he just finished his uh, last treatment on Thursday. Um, so all of the, uh, the money that's raised uh, for the exhibition match and everything that's gone with it is going to go to Royal Marsden uh, Charity, uh, which has helped Ross get, get through it. So if everyone can stay, stay around, they'd be much appreciated. <laughs> Yeah, it's been such a tough time for Ross, I know, very emotional for you, but uh, Ivan Lendl has been talking this match up a lot. Are you looking forward to it? I, I honestly want to win this match more than the one we just played now, because <laughs> I uh, have to spend you know, a week with him before Wimbledon, the preparations, and if, uh, if me and Tim lose to him, he's going to be all over me, so <laughs> we, we, I hope you guys are on, on our side. You know what? He says if you hit him, he's going to have you doing drills at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Well, I'm going to hit him. That's, uh, <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's, that, that's the plan. I've been talking about it all week, so I'll give it a go. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me hold the microphone this time. Yeah, it's very nice. Right. Of you. <laughs> and uh, I wish you well. I know you've got to get ready for this big match. So, ladies and gentlemen, Queen's Club champion, the Aegon champion this year, Andy Murray.